Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlis here, and today we have Aaron, who found a strategy, and he said he's just playing around with it. So, let's see how this playing around with a strategy works out. Because it does generally mean that we might have a cool and crazy battle on our hands. It's just kind of like, oh, that sounds cool, or oh, I came up with this, I'm just going to go and test it out, maybe it'll work. That's pretty much my whole existence, is I just think, hey, I'm going to try this out, go on to ranked, and win or blow it. So we have Mega Lucario opening up against the Rotom. Hmm. The, the, what, what? Rotom didn't go for the... Okay. I was thinking that Rotom going for maybe even a will o -Wisp would be a little better. Especially with Flash Cannon not doing much damage with that typing. Lucario just decides to take the hit and go. Even though Lucario's can be mixed, it's just good. Throw down a Will-O-Wisp, don't take the chances. There's another hidden power, gets the good switch in on Florgus, and takes about 21 damage, which is nothing. I wish I could do math on the fly, because that's like 8% of its health. Or, yeah, I think 8% is the right number. Or actually, no, it's 12%. Something like that. So there's Calm Mind on Florgus, which is pretty ferocious. But he has to switch out, because Scizor is right there, waiting to just punch it in the face. And now Delphox to kind of counter out the Scizor. Because Bullet Punch shouldn't do too much because of that not very effective typing. That's still a monstrous hit because Scizor is a huge threat. Life Orb, Delphox going for the Flamethrower though. So it does get the safe switch in, does manage that KO. I don't really know what that was right there because uh, Scizor could have switched out. I think it was trying to go for a Swords Dance and then turn around, but that's a Fire type going against the Scizor. That's just the opponent not paying enough respect right there. And he, puni he is punished for it. So, here comes a Hydro Pump into Del Fox's face. Del Fox, no survival. Double critical hit back and forth. Trade off right there. Okay, so now we have Florgus back out against that Rotom. Hydro Pump coming in. Damage. Actually, a very respectable amount of damage for the super special defensive tank that it is. So he does get that boost from the Calm Mind. Calm Mind on the Florgus is just so scary because if they don't have a physical th Pokemon left that can handle you, your game is over right there. So see, that's two Calm Minds. Probably going to go for a Wish next. At least that's what my th thought would be. Not try to take too many chances. If you get critical hit, that could be game. Hydro Pump landing. Wow, four times in a row. That's, that's kind of ridiculous. Actually, not even the wish, just going into a straight-up rest right there. Alright. That's pretty interesting. And, ah oh, there it is! The, oh, I, thought was, I was thinking Chesto Resto. Lum Resto, close enough. Going into that Energy Ball after the Calm Mine. Plus two. Good night, Rotom. Just go away. So, now we have Garchomp versus the setup on the Florgus, avoids the Fire Fang, and then Moonblast, that's definitely a KO. So this does bring a good point I would like to make, that Florgus is terrifying. I've been walled out by it many times, that it, I put it in the Special Defense Wall um, team building guide because it does some silly things like that. So you can use Calm Mind on it, and your opponent is specially screwed, is how I can uh, put it right there. So, that was pretty good. Florgus actually just doing a lot of work. Once that Scizor was out of the way, was able to take out Rotom and Garchomp with relative ease. Mega Lucara was hanging in the background for moral support. So I hope you guys enjoyed Fan Fridays this week, and I hope you all have a nice day.